Hi folks, Max from Galaxy Note 3 Root.com for this week's ROM of the Week uh, for AT&T, T-Mobile, Canadian, SMN 9005, or if you have any LTE versions of Note 3 that has uh, Unlock Bootloader. So it's everything, any, any LTE based uh, Note 3 except for AT&T Verizon, uh, which does not have Unlock Bootloader. And the Verizon does sell Developer Edition. If you do have uh, Developer Edition, you can go ahead and install this. Um, go check out this Anthem IOSP ROM. I really love it. Uh, I've been actually using, sorry, IOAP ROM. I've been actually using uh, TouchWiz for a long time now. Um, and uh, I finally switched over to IOSP, and I really love it. It's just so fast. Everything switches fast. There's absolutely no lag. Um, you don't have that all that TouchWiz bloat. I think this ROM is actually... Uh, here, 200 megabytes versus TouchWiz ROM, it's like a gig, 1.5 gig. Um, this is an Android 4.4.2 ROM. It is completely AOSP. If you don't know what is AOSP, go Google what is AOSP uh, high on Android and you'll find my video explanation of it. Um, with this ROM, you'll obviously lose all of your TouchWiz stuff um, and the S Pen functionalities, but you can download a bunch of apps. Just type S Pen on the Play Store and there's a bunch of memo apps. You know, if the only thing you do with the S Pen uh, is just take a bunch of notes, um, you know, you don't really need TouchWiz. Uh, for me, that's the case. I don't really use all the other extra features, but if you're like a student and you use all the formulas and all that good stuff, um, copying and pasting, definitely you'll, ha you'll wanna stick with TouchWiz or you can make a backup ROM and try this ROM on, your, on the weekend or whatever, switch back and forth. Uh, but I really like it. There's one file now that can install all the LTE Note 3s, um, so long as you unlock bootloader. Um, so I really like it. Let me go ahead and show you some of the stuff that I like. Uh, you get all the customizations you are used to with um, ICS Jelly Bean, uh, AOSP ROMs with other phones. Um, status bar, circle, um, double tap to sleep, show network speeds if you want and breathing SMS, all that good stuff. Custom progress bar, so you can go ahead and change the colors, make it cool looking. A quick settings panel, this is where you can change the tiles and layouts um, just the way you want to. Um, there we go. And buttons, you can go ahead and enable screenshot, screen recording, all that good stuff. And also the reboot menu, you can go straight to recover your download, which is very helpful uh, if you're a flashaholic like myself. Home button, you can change what the actions do, the menu button, volume buttons, and notification drawer, um, some more stuff you can do here. Uh, let me show you my lock screen notifications. I really like this. So when I push my lock screen, um, it'll show me all the notifications here, which is pretty darn cool. Isn't that cool? I really like it. Um, active display, this is when you take your phone out of your pocket and it'll show you the notification, but I don't really need it because I have the lock screen notification, so that kind of solves everything. Gesture anywhere, great for, um, you know, uh, you can type, you can go ahead and swipe G to go to Gmail, um, you know, O to go to Oprah browser or whatever, all that good stuff. Identicons, there we go, and also performance, great. Uh, this comes with an overclockable kernel, I've got it. Uh, to 2.265 gigahertz um, and uh, yeah you should be able to even go more if you have a custom kernel that allows you to go more and you know if you can do the voltage um, that's better you can actually get what is that app uh, trickster mod which will allow you to change the voltage so you can get great battery life and the maximum performance uh, also dark UI makes everything dark so you will be able to uh, save some battery life because the AMOLED screen on the Samsung devices such as the Note 3 save battery life when everything's uh, black than gray. Um, dark UI and whoops eh. and of course uh, everything's KitKat basically KitKat with all of this for those of you asking me uh, is the dialer KitKat um, of course it is you know what I'll show you the dialer I'm going to show you the dialer and it's actually uh, themed out a little bit uh, in black, which is awesome. Um, so good stuff there. Yeah. Uh, love this ROM. You can also change the theme if you want to. Go ahead and go to Play Store and download any AOSP uh, CM11 
Um, and uh, most of them should be compatible and you should be able to change your theme pretty easily. And all this extra stuff, um, let me go ahead and show you the camera, which is one of my favorite parts about this ROM. Um, now before, you did not have this pause feature. This ROM has it, so really like it. Um, you don't lose that uh, coming from TouchWiz, which is one of the things I missed. Um, still camera is very good. I have it actually set on a burst mode, that's why it's all going crazy. Let me let me let it finish real quick here. Um, so standard uh, KitKat, KitKat uh, camera here, and works pretty well. Um, you know, obviously you don't have all the features as a TouchWiz, but that's the trade-off. I don't mind it too much. I am not like too crazy. I'll just go grab my DSLR if I need to take real photos. Um, I think that's about it. And uh, looking awesome. And also, Google Wallet works out of the box with any KitKat ROM. Um, so you just have to sign in, and that's about it. And also, if you want to tweak your sound, DSP Manager's on board. But I do recommend getting Viper for Android if you want to really tweak it. I have a full tutorial guide on that. And also, you can get photos for your camera if you install 4.3 camera on top of it. And also, it does have only switch. Um, I love this. This is like a Pi controls. Uh, let me reboot real quick and I'll show you. And that's the boot down screen or rebooting screen and let me go ahead and show you the boot up screen and uh, the, yeah this ROM works you know all, all the everything works fine out of the box uh, calls Wi-Fi Bluetooth and uh, you got the nice infamous and the infamous team has been building some great ROMs with TouchWiz now I haven't seen them make some great AOSP ROMs until this one I think this is the best job they've done so far uh, everything just packaged uh, really well with all this stuff I want, it's just booting there. And there we go. So now once you enable that, you'll be able to access your menus there. You can also add shortcuts um, to your to your uh, Omni switch. So go ahead and go to Omni switch there. And if you go to the bottom, go to manage favorites, and you can go ahead and add your favorite apps, you know, and then you'll be able to, act. It'll, it'll show up down here eventually. Um, so, Oops, let me try that again. What happened? Oh, you gotta hit OK one more time. There we go. And favorite apps. So you can go like that, go like this, and out. So a ton of good stuff, a good combo uh, of stuff, and you got the kill all button there. Overall, really love it. You know, if you're tired of um, slow touch whiz, you hate touch whiz, you hate knocks. Um, definitely switch over to AOSP. It makes your Note 3 so much faster. Um, you, of course, you're going to lose all your touch waves, but think of it as like a, um, like a Nexus 5, but that's better and faster. You know, that's what it makes it. Um, so check it out with this week's ROM of the Week. Again, you can install it for any LT-based Note 3 T-Mobile, uh, T-Mobile Sprint, Canadian, um, there's also other variants I know um, if you have some of the other variants like Cricket, US Cellular, uh, if they have, do they have a Note 3? Anyway, you can install on any LT enabled Note 3 without a lock bootloader. So definitely go try it out for this week's ROM week and do let me know what you think. Uh, if you've been looking for um, some great Android 4.4.2 KitKat ROMs, and of course you get all the features, um, you can get Google Now if you want to. I'll make sure you enable this. Uh, with the KitKat launcher, go ahead and swipe left for Google Now. Whoa, swipe right. Oh, there we go. Okay, Google, we're done here. Anyway, thanks you guys for uh, watching this video. I will see you guys soon. Um, as always, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at galaxynote3root.com for more of ROM of the Week, and I will see you uh, later. Stay hot on Android. Yeah.